So in the last video I showed you how to use the quartile function to basically find the cutoff points within these 500 numbers uh, so that we can split the data into four equal parts. So we saw how between you know these two numbers we get 125, between the next two you get 124, almost, almost equal parts, um, but basically allowing you to establish those cutoff points. Now, in this video I'm going to show you how to do the same thing but with deciles. So in deciles meaning that we want to have 10 different groups. So we want to have 10 groups, split the data, f find the cutoff points within our same data set, 500 numbers. What are the cutoff points to be able to say, you know, between uh, the first two values, this is actually the quartiles here, but between, uh, you know, one number and the next number, we're going to find, let's 10% of the values, because cutting it into 10 parts uh, from here to here, we want to know those cutoff points and then count the numbers in between the double check. So, uh, unlike with the quartile function where you just type it in and you see it here below, uh, there actually isn't a decile function. So what you have to do is use the percentile. So here we can, we're just going to go down here and pick this one which is backwards compatible just to keep it simple. Uh, our array or is just our values, the 500 values. I click the F4 key to lock it so that stays the same. A comma, and now it's saying K, or meaning which one do we want. So we're going to say we want 0, which is the minimum value. That's fine. Now when we drag this, watch what happens. It doesn't actually work because we can't, unlike the quartile function where you can just say 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, this is actually looking for a decimal value. So we're going to go like this, 0 decimal 1, and then we're going to just increase it. So I'm going to say equals the 1 above plus 0 0.1. So now we get 0 0.2 all the way down to a 1. So now we've got basically in decimals, this is cutting it in half. This is the largest value. If we drag this down one more, and this is the smallest value. So let's just quickly do uh, the min and the max just to prove that the zero decile is the smallest value, the one decile is the largest value. I'm going to change this and I'm going to call this the minimum value of everything in that range. Hit enter. So it's the same. That works. We're going to just copy within the formula bar, press the escape key, jump down to this cell, paste. I'm going to say max. All right, so the max of the data range of all of our numbers is 214.24, which is the same as percentile when we put the 1. And here, percentile 0 is the same as the minimum value. So now that we have all of, we've, we've put in the percentiles for all the different ones, between these two values, we're going to find the first 10% of the numbers. Between these two values, we're going to find the next 10% and all the way up until we get to the maximum value. So the last 10% of the numbers are in between 174.95 up until 214.24. So let's just move these out of the way. Those, that was just a double check. Now we want to do our counting to, uh, to make sure that we're splitting those 500 numbers into 10 equal parts. So when we go back to here, we remember that uh, we were using count ifs, so we can actually just borrow this, copy and escape, go back to this and go into that cell, go to the formula bar and paste. So we're saying, doing the same thing as before, we're counting with two conditions, count ifs. Our data range, here's our operator, greater than or equal to G8. So here we see that G8 is the 96.01. We have an, our data range again, column D, less than G9, which is 123.22. I hit enter, we're getting 50 numbers, so 500 numbers divided into 10 parts. I'm going to drag this down. Now, once again, the last one, well, it says less than G18, so I'm just going to take away, because we don't want to say less than, it could, it's okay if it's right on. So now we have 50 again. So let's add all these up. Obviously, this is going to be 500. We're not missing any numbers. 
all 500 numbers are accounted for, um, meaning that there's 50 numbers in between here and here. There's another 50 numbers in be between these two numbers, all the way up to the end. The last 50, when we click in here, means simply any numbers, how many numbers greater than 174.95. Here it means how many numbers are in between 167.13 and 174.95. So it's cutting, now we have the cutoff points so that we can cut all these numbers into 10 equal parts. So if you wanted to, for example, cut it into 7 parts, you could actually do that. So <laughs> you could do something crazy like this. Let's just call this seven parts. Well, uh, you could go into the first, though we'll keep this as a zero, and let's just say seven part values. Go to this one, and we could say equals one divided by seven, enter. And then we're gonna say uh, equals this plus one divided by seven again. So we're gonna split this now into seven parts. So we're going to drag this down, and all I need is, here's the one, now we can get rid of all this. And what we want to do is look in here, so now we're getting 0 decimal 1, 4, that's 1 seventh, 2 sevenths, 3 sevenths, 4, 5, 6 sevenths, and 7 out of 7 is the same as 1. So you can do pretty much anything that you need to, and you notice how over here, we've, it's basically counting how many numbers how many numbers are in between 96 to 127? Uh, and then this, I just need to change one little thing here. I need to say, remove this, just like I always do for the last one. Many ways to do this. But now we've got all 500 numbers accounted for. So seven parts, um, seven part values. Where If we're going to cut it into seven parts, all these numbers, this is the starting point and the ending point for the first cut, starting, ending, for the next cut and all the way down. Just the cutoff value, cutoff amount, so that we can sort of, if it be the same as sorting this, and then just saying, I want to get the first uh, seventh of the numbers. So you, if you're, as long as you're creative, you can put pretty much anything in here and cut it any way you'd like.